All right, let's take the fraction, 5 eighths, and we're gonna write this as a decimal. We're gonna round it to the thousandths place, the hundredths place, and the tenths place. So 5 eighths, we have five divided by eight. So we write five here, and we'll divide that by eight. So eight doesn't go into five. So let's do this. Let's put a zero here with a decimal point and then call it 50. So six times eight, that's 48. And if we subtract, we get two. Eight doesn't go into two. Let's move over one. We'll call this 20. Three, nope, two. Two times eight is 16. Then when we subtract, we get four. Eight doesn't go into four. Move over one. Call this 40. And five times eight, that's 40. Subtract, no remainder. And we get 0 0.625. So this is exact. 0 0.625 is five divided by eight, five eighths as a decimal. So we can't even round it because it's exact. So that's the thousands place. If we wanted the hundreds place, we'd round up here because this is five, five and greater, we round up. So this goes to three and we'd have five eighths as a decimal to the hundreds place, 0 0.63. Then if we wanted to go to the tenths place here, we can't round up here. So we just get rid of the three and five eighths rounded to the tenths place is 0 0.6. If I was using this number, I'd probably use the exact 0 0.625 there at the thousands place because it is an exact number. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.